now just biding their time, waiting it out. It's on death to try and make something happen here. No Ooh. pressure anywhere Ooh. else, and Dirk has walked down mid. He knows that the spike is dropped. He knows they're all contained inside garage. This should be Fnatic easily cleaning up. Yep, they know exactly what's going on here. Sheriff in the hands of Turka. Already getting some lovely damage down onto them and right through the wall. It's three <laughs> kills in the round for Turka. What a way to Sentinels. But the reaction was very good from Fnatic. And they strike the first blow. No force buy, nothing crazy happening here. And Sassy loading up his ultimate. I do think it's really interesting though, Bren, that Sassy is playing the sky here. When you think about Sentinels, you're expecting Sassy to be the safe pair of hands. The guy that's a veteran, king of initiators, safest player in the game. Just able to really pick up the pieces when things go wrong, but. Yeah, and, and having him on Sky instead of on Breach, it's a really aggressive comp from Sentinels, and I think it's going to ask Sassy to get really involved in the fighting. Yeah. Enough that they're going to be even in terms of those weapons against Sentinels. Dirk is feeling it. Yeah, he is. I mean, the dash active right now, looking to try and take an early fight. He sees the head. What <laughs> is that? Rolling back the years with that one, Deb. Straight through the wall. I mean, just a little juggle and a shot. That's all it took. Trailblazer now going to be trying to what make a great through. Garage, what a great nano swarm. Yeah, it that breaks it, right? It does. It breaks any kind of utility that is channeled. So if you've got a Sova, it breaks the drone. If it's, you know, sassy there, Trailblazer. And that allows Alpha yet to keep his turret up. They don't spam it through the wall. So map control advantage to Fnatic, but they're still 4v5. And they've got a good read that this is ending A. Yeah, with a stack and the play that options watch for. Look at that crossfire. I mean, they've just got so many layers to this. But also, Leo pretty heavily committed in short. Yeah. Quite wide. It's going to be a fault line. Now to stun as well, so Leo can't see too much. Does have that dart, but does he want to use it? Aftershock into the corner, a bit of spam. Just finds his targets. Wow. Beaming them down, wow. and it's pure instinct play. Three kills from Leo, who's just anchoring that position. But it is down to Alfie in this 1v2. Spike gets planted, finds the kill. Smoke dissipating at just the wrong time for Zekken. And now he's backing away. Ten's holding close to the angle on Graffiti, and he just found it anyway. Split, and they're going straight into the shorty. Durka oh, wow. with a bit of revenge. What a kill to find, Avier. Oh my goodness. Just walks away from the door for but a moment. Could have found an easy kill with a shorty, but he will fall. Now a, a lot of flashes just being committed into the back of the site. Clears that one down. It's going to be a plant as well without too many problems. Util chipping him forwards, but Tens is quite isolated now. He's holding the back of the side by himself, and that fight at the flank was imperative. Durka wins it out. A little bit strained in its approach. Tens with the updraft play. Aftershock as well. Leo just trying to trade it out, swinging through, and Tens still claims three. Down to Durka now. Another dash. Let's come online here, right into the smoke to cut up the crosshair placement. That gives him a good idea of where these players are. But again, just a battle taking place. Tries to spray it down. And these see this, and the Rolling Thunder's going to be catching them, actually. Leo going to be caught. Flash play. And well, the knife's just not good in that kind of position. But Boaster was isolated. Now a drone. Fault line as well cuts across, and Dirk is still there, holding the angle at heaven. He knows what his players are, and he will find them time and time again. One after the other, but Sentinels will answer back. And it's just down to Sassy. Positioning, I believe, known. He's going to get reinforcements as Alfie is going to be rejoining him at heaven. Spike out in the open now. Will he get an easy fight? Just trying to isolate one of them, but no. Jiggle at the positioning. Leo doesn't give away too much now. 28 seconds left in this round. Time starting to get burnt, and now he knows where the second player is. That's one broken, just trying to isolate one of these fights, and well, the warbang angle, Alpha here. Gets a decent amount of information. Dash forwards by Tens there. That's just trying to even get this plant down as an aftershock, so Tens, yeah, he's going to be paying for that one with his life. A bit of, again, spam from the Phantoms at play. Tap onto the spike. Post plant positions being played here by Sentinel. It's going to take a miracle for them to just get much else with it. Yeah, a bit of jumping and running and gunning from Leo. But already the spike just being stuck through all of this pressure. He didn't have the weapons or the util to be up anytime, is he? That's a deep dart as well. A set play, but Zekin up close and personal within the cloud burst. Takes out the threat of Durka. But a pincer attack as well. Bosler was trying to make the most of the chaos. Pushed up into, oh my goodness, into A lobby. And he's even finding. A couple of kills of his own, potentially no. Ends up going down before he could claim the second. The trade was there. The timing's so messy there from Fnatic. I understand that it's a set play, but Sentinels had a lot of windows with which to reinforce their position. 
Alpha, yeah, missing that shot. Very wide swing. Dog will miss though, so not stand up. He can afford to just retake this angle and just on the arm of death. What a shot to hit. Giving him just nigh a pistol, but now you're gonna see already pushing through this one with the rolling thunder. The ultimate to try and clear it away, and the players had to vacate. Sentinels trapped in the cubby, and Alfie has got that line of side angle. Watch for once more, but the spike. And then over to Pankada, he's got his ultimate, so he's going to be able to get a free plant now onto A. 1v3. Can he do it? He's got a lot of time to threaten a reposition. He's going to smoke both I quite Spawn like this. and A Link. That's really smart. He's just the throwing fanatic. a bunch of misinformation into it, but this fight now by Leo Him, meeting him into short. It's Moving massive. The first kill. It's massive. Takes it down to a 1v2, but he's given away what? where he is. What is that? Chronicle so far ahead of his teammate. There's no trade in sight from Alfie, and out of paranoia. Waiting for the tap of the spike, and there it is. Rips his way across, a full blind. Another tap from Alfie, but still biting, waiting. Smoke ready and waiting. Wide swings it, but Alfie so calm and patient in the clutch. Really big round from Alfie. Dingus can still be deadly if yeah. Durka gets caught out here by a flash. Some damage, the flash actually doesn't connect onto Durk. He's still there, ready and waiting into the corner. Up draft play, and wow, Tens makes the most of it. A bit of whiffage there from Durga holding in a very aggressive angle. And now that they're in a 5v4 post plan, Def might choose to use his ultimate. Okay, there you go. Lockdown. Place down. Lockdown for a lockdown. How are you getting these kills? But the gun's at hand. All up to Sassy. Stinger in his hands tries to whip out the pistol, but already being swarmed by the players now. The lockdown. Ah, oh, destroyed. Not a problem. Take his way over. They might not be ready for this A explosion. Risky maneuver that could be played there. The stun is going to force Durka to not be able to scope in now. He can't really help them out, but already Bose is trying to at least relieve some of that pressure, but a spam into hell. Catches onto Durka at a common angle that he was playing. Two players of Fnatic falling, including Chronicle, make that three. Leo opens himself up so wide there. Unfortunate timing with the smoke just fading away. What an answer by Sentinels off the back of that timeout today. We're talking about what they wanted to do differently. Perhaps that was part of it, what they were discussing, the contact play to make sure that Fnatic didn't have as much information to work with, that they couldn't rotate effectively. Through, that's just going to be used in response to try and slow them down. Even the flashes, Tens can't quite see a thing. Even beefed his flash for his own dash coming through, trying to spray it down. Boaster does help them out a bit of running what? gun in action. Okay. Three kills for him. And just backs away, rotating around. No time on the clock, Tens. Percentage play now knows that there's not a chance in hell of him winning this round, so just has to save the rifle. He's going to get a backstab on Boaster here, but Boaster's already done the damage. Well, who's going to be the playmaker? Target's broken. Cosmic Divider cut across now. Moving forward, Sassy has to hold this. He knows he's being pushed. There's the first opener. Still Zekin, his positioning is known. A pop flash play moving forwards, and Zekin isolates the fights, but eventually shut down. Really, really valuable backstab position if they try decide to go for the C here, which right now just a contact play, breaking that alarm bot, but the positioning is going to be known now with 40 seconds remaining. Durka locks down the one angle. Still going to be holding it down. Rolling Thunder to push him back, wants to take the shot before it goes through, but there we go. The extra layers that I was talking about earlier. Alfier locked and loaded, and it is disaster for Sentinels. Two players left standing with death falling all down to Zekin. A nasty shot to be found, but Alfier off as well. So what is going to be the reaction here from Sentinels? Tar going through, it's a fast play, they just want to fight this one into Garage, there was a flash over the top, and they do want to swing with the player advantage. Just trying to, again, beam them down with that frenzy clip, not working out, still. Is that 3v3, and the players are low on either side. Yeah, it now gets a bit awkward for Fnatic, because they don't control Garage, and they also don't control C-Long. And still with the dash enabled. Here with the back of the side, a little jiggle, maybe opens himself up here, but this close position by Boaster could be everything for them. Tapping away, still just holding a little bit too close. Flash dodged away, and Tens claims the second at the back of the site. Still wants to try and make his mark on the global stage, that competitive environment. This is a week of buy for Fnatic Pancada. Okay, taking a fight right to them. Fully blinded up though, and Turka does get handed a pretty easy kill, but ultimately left in a 1v3. Gonna need to channel something on Holy to be able to win this. I've seen Durka win 1v3s on Haven A before. <laughs> but I think this one does look a little too difficult. It's also one that Sentinels have got to win. Yeah, I will say 50 seconds left in the round. He's cutting noise just by walking, but 
Second is watching this angle with a little jiggle peek. He doesn't offer any more as well. Look at that. Just gets the information and backs away, playing quite patiently. He knows that this is going to pull the defenders towards A. But he's a bit slow to rotate off fully and try and get a free plant on C. Tens is thinking about it, though. Has to spread out again just in case. Dirk has made a mad dash to the opposite side of the map. But I don't think this one's going to be dangerous. Yeah, with uh, 20 seconds left. I think actually Dirk is in, at risk of not even dying. Yeah, you don't want to save this uh, this weaponry into this round right now. Have to be going for no. the plant or something. Nana Swarm preemptively popped off and yeah, losing his right foot early. Here's the dash through. Tries to go for a bit of a spam kill here. Leo he is being isolated, surrounded right now, but yeah, holds the angle and Sassy just wades right into him. Alfie is back there. That flash was not oh. good from second. A bit of a self flash there, but. And now things are getting horrible for Sentinels. They kind of need to just save two weapons into this round. They really do, and lose the rifle. They, they got destroyed before they were anywhere near setting. Actually, swapped it around. So, Sassy, according to the operator now, we'll see what tends ups to do. Paranoia rips his way across, including the stun as well. Finding a one fight. No! All just being met pound for pound, match for match. They waiting for right now. Maybe a bit of utility to come back. Yeah, it's yeah, Leo up. Waiting for that recon to come back but, online. But I do think these short players need to be a little further forwards. Now they start moving their way forwards. They're into good space. And, and here we go. What a start. And that's it. Everything just sent flying. Updraft right round the corner. Even the aftershock. Sublime placement of the utility. So well executed. And that double stack. The risky play by Sentinels here on their weak goodbye does not pay off. Fnatic. Looking so damn ready to take that 12th round, set themselves up on map point. It looks sublime, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so good. Remaining. And Fnatic are going to take that step. Answer with something else. They're close to a couple of ultimates with this plant. It's going off and there's no problems whatsoever. It's now setting themselves up into the post plant. What an opening with second fall and you don't have that breach utility. And how do you win this? Cosmic Divider cut the one side up, tens. We're open a forum. Seekers, though, going to be spreading out into the site. Trailblazer even missing. This wall so difficult. No to sky burst through. There is no flash to break through this. And time is ticking. Finally, it regens, but already the fight being taken. Sassy trading out, winning it. Pancada with the flank. Reflanking through. It's all down to Leo. In that 1v2, one fight isolated. Half of the defuse. Sassy sticks it. The percentage play. There's no way you're sticking this all the way. Unbelievable. Knives now going to be ripped out for 10. Still, that's going to be a lockdown. Instantly, the Hunter's Fury is used. Leo was ready for this one. No hesitation. Play is falling left, right, and center. And they just cannot capitalize. Sassy, the last man standing. He's had an easy one. The barrel of the gun just opened it out a little bit too wide. Drone tagging. It's going to push him back. Just hoping for the reswing there with that free fire. But Fnatic are looking more than ready now to take this one. Surrounding him, the reposition. Look at this from Durka. To the back of garage, it's just unwinnable. Layers of utility, no one giving him an easy fight. Beams him down, but left to five health and the double up positions. Look at it, waiting it out with the patience. Intelligent play from Fnatic, 